Hello and welcome back. It's Kyle and today is Thursday, June 6th, 2024. And this is also day four of very carefully watching everything that I'm eating. Today I had a total of 1,810 calories total. That was also ended up being 114 grams of protein. So made it over 100. I had to uh, kind of hurry up there towards the end of the night after supper. I made myself a snack uh, with four eggs and a quarter cup of shredded cheese and made some scrambled eggs out of that, which was freaking delicious, by the way. Um, I love, I love eggs, <laughs> any type of eggs, um, especially eggs Benedict on a Disney cruise. That's my favorite version of eggs, but yeah. Uh, speaking of which, we got a new toy. Uh, I'll tell you about it some other time, but it'll help with eggs Benedict in the future because I will be making eggs Benedict for myself. But more importantly, we have officially crossed down into the double digits. Only 99 days left until the trip as of today. That is super exciting. I cannot wait. It's also a big part of why I'm cracking down hardcore on my food because I want to uh, be smaller than I was on the last cruise. Um, so fingers crossed I can keep this up. I will say that food wise, I am doing just fine with everything. Um, like tonight's supper, um, again, it was all the, the pre-portioned out stuff. Um, tonight's supper had broccoli in it. I ate the broccoli, no problem. Um, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's not like it made me gag or anything like that. Uh, but, what I'm struggling with, and this is because of years and years and years of training my body otherwise, is the portion sizes. So one of the things I am doing is weighing everything out that isn't pre-portioned already. So some things come in a pre-portioned pack where it's like this one pack is one serving or this one pack contains two servings, that sort of thing. But like I have a big bag of beef jerky and I take two servings of beef jerky with me uh, every day to work. So that's the one big bag of beef jerky has 10 servings total. Uh, so that gives me five work days worth of the beef jerky. Um, I did the beef jerky because it's pretty high in protein um, and pretty low in calories. It's a good ratio for me um, and it's good tasting. I like it. Um, so it's a little pricey. I wish it was cheaper, um, but what can you do? That's everything. Uh, but so I weigh that out. Uh, two servings is 56 grams or one serving is 28 grams. Um, so I weigh that out, put it in a little Ziploc bag, and then that way I know when I'm done. Um, when I made the eggs tonight, I weighed out the shredded cheese for the quarter cup, 28 grams of shredded cheese. Uh, the four eggs, you know, those were pretty easy because one egg is 70 calories, uh, according to the package. So that sort of stuff, I'm doing a lot better. And so when you weigh out, like the cheese, for instance, and you see, oh, this is what a quarter cup of cheese looks like, um, it kind of puts into perspective um, why I am as big as I am because when I see that a quarter cup of cheese is 110 calories, and then I go, oh, well, I was using twice that easily in every bowl of taco salad I had, and I would have two bowls of taco salad at supper time. You're talking 440 calories just in cheese alone, plus chips and beef and all the other stuff that goes into your taco salad. Uh, so that stuff adds up quickly. So seeing those portions more visually, more frequently, um, kind of helps cement that in your head. But on the flip side of that, being restricted to those smaller portions is also kind of 
sucky right now because I'm so used to having the bigger portions. So like uh, today, I wanted to add a snack in. So I decided to have a snack of, um, what was it? Not almonds, not walnuts. I can't think of the name. They're, they're popular nuts, but it's not peanuts. Uh, you know what they are. Uh, I just, I cannot for the life of me think of what those are called right now. Doesn't matter what they're called. I had some nuts for a snack. I weighed it out. I did two servings of it because again, one serving is 28 grams. Uh, I think I was saying I might have got the grams ounces title mixed up in a, a couple times there. 28 grams for one ounce, uh, which seems to be a common uh, serving size. One ounce of this, one ounce of that, one ounce of that, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but yeah, so two ounces is what I ended up eating. And that was pretty much nothing for those. Um, dang, what are those called? Stand by, I'll be right back. I'm back. They were cashews. I don't know why I couldn't remember the word cashews, but I had two servings of cashews. Uh, those are fairly high in protein, fairly uh, good in calories, uh, a little bit higher in fat than I'd prefer. They were salted, so they weren't like the best version of cashews ever. They were the fancy ones from Costco, Kirkland brand. Uh, but they tasted good. They got me the a little bit of salt that I was craving uh, for the snacky stuff. Instead of eating chips, I ate the nuts instead. Um, but yeah, so portion size, I'm getting better at that. Uh, and then water. Again, today I, I had 120 ounces of water at least. Uh, I stopped counting once I hit the 120 ounces. Um, just because I know I'm not going to finish the fourth bottle. If I finish the fourth bottle, um, it would be, I'd say, 160 plus ounces of water. Uh, but then I also had, you know, a 16 ounce bottle of water uh, to start my day. And then my two drinks that are 12 ounces a piece there. So that's another 40 ounces of liquid, 16 of which is just pure water. Um, so. <coughs> Easily around 140 ounces of water today, um, which is excellent. But I will say, uh, I my body is definitely getting used to the extra water intake. Um, so like right now, I know that I should probably drink more water, but because I'm getting ready to go to bed, I'm purposefully not drinking water because if I drink any more water right now, there's no way I'm gonna be able to sleep through the night. I'll be up at like two o'clock in the morning to use the restroom and I want to sleep. I don't want to have to get up in the middle of the night. So I'll drink extra water in the morning to make up for that. But yeah, other than that, um, we'll see how this weekend goes. The weekends are now the hardest part for me because we don't have the meals planned out for the weekend. And uh, we tend to eat out on the weekend quite a bit. Um, so I'll see how that goes. Um, and... I haven't decided yet if I'm still going to, I should, but I don't know if I'm going to uh, keep weighing stuff over the weekend or just take the weekends as like a little reprieve from doing the stuff. I know I should keep doing it, but uh, at least in the beginning, maybe giving myself a little bit of a break, um, maybe on one of the days, um, but who knows, we'll see. Uh, my brother will be home and he has this recipe for like a chicken and rice casserole type thing that's pretty healthy for you um, that makes a massive portion and so I might have him uh, help me make some of that and then that'll be portion for meals in the future uh, we'll see how that goes I've tried that in the past and it didn't really work that well uh, but I'm doing better now at being more consistent with staying to my diet. So I probably need to give it another shot and we'll see. I'll probably end up doing smoking some chicken this weekend, but I'm really craving BLTs. Um, so I might do BLTs this weekend, 
but he doesn't like BLTs. They're too greasy for him. Um, so I have to do it when he's not home. But, uh, yeah. So this weekend probably won't be as good as the rest of the week was. But I'm still hopeful that uh, Monday on our way in, I'm hoping for three pounds lost. Um, that's my goal. We'll see how we are there. Again, my, my daily caloric goal is 2,700 calories, 2,700 calories. And like today, uh, which is a pretty average day, I would say, I didn't have popcorn today. Um, so that cut out about 500 calories. Um, but today was still only 1,810 calories. Um, so that's 900 calories basically below my goal. Um, and that goal is the goal because that would ensure losing weight. Um, so this should help me lose weight a little bit faster, a little bit more weight each week than if I was hitting the 2,700 calories every day. But we'll see what Monday brings. Um, and you know what? If Monday comes and it shows that I put on a pound instead, um, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. We're trying. Um, we'll live and learn and make adjustments as needed. But with that, it's about 8.45. Um, sorry, 8.51. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. 99 days.